Shalom, I'm your brother Jeremiah from the branch of GMS South Carolina Midlands. Lord will this be edifying. Before I start off, all praise, our honor, and all glory belongs to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Once again, all praise, our honor, and all glory belongs to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men in whom we learn this truth, who teach and rule well. And Shalom to the hopeful elect scattered abroad, wherever you may be. Just a quick in transit through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And if you don't know this face by now, this is the face of Emmett Till, a 14 year old boy that was murdered by the hands of Esau Edom. Okay? So I got a, a couple of uh, clips I'm going to play. But before I get that, let me get the precept. The book of Obadiah, chapter 1, and verse 10. And the book of Obadiah is only one chapter. And it's concerning the fate of Esau, Edom, the so-called white race. All right? The devil that the Bible speaks of. The wicked that the Bible speaks of. Obadiah 1 and 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob... And Jacob is the forefather of the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of today. This is addressed to Esau, Edom. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob. Okay? And what they did to Emmett Till, that was nothing but violence. Cold-blooded cold murder. Okay? Shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Okay? As it is written, the so-called white race as we'll get in Obadiah 1 and 18 they're going to be cut off forever okay the only nation of people in which in prophecy they're going to be cut off their lineage going, going from uh, men women and children of that nation they're going to be cut off okay and it's all for the crimes that they did to their brother okay it's supposed to be their brother which is the so called blacks hispanics and native americans Jacob okay so let me go ahead and play a few of these clips that I got going into this, man. Because I watched the um, the movie. Uh, the movie is called Teal. It just came out not too long ago. And it goes into the full story on, on, on what happened, okay? And how it was hard to pretty much charge these two men, the two Edomite men, with the crimes that they did to this 14-year-old boy, okay? And then you hear you have right here, you know, before I play the clip, you know, a picture. Uh, pretty much, this is supposed to be the site or, or the um, the landmark where um, they found the body of Emmett Till, okay, where the river is, okay. And uh, as you can see, the sign has been shot up, and we obviously know who did it: Esau Edom, the devil, okay. And we got the receipts. Look at it. Esau Edom with his with his uh with his sword in his hand, his blessing, okay, and bullet holes in the sign, uh to to landmark, okay, the river where Emmett Till was found. <laughs> so these devil, they have no remorse, man. They have no remorse, okay, and that's why they gotta be cut off forever, man. So let me play a few of these clips real quick. And Lauren, Steve, we spent tonight getting reaction from the Duke researcher whose work shed new light on Emmett Till's case and also from activists who've long fought for justice in the lynching. We also tried to reach Carolyn Donham and her family, who we know lived here in Raleigh for several years, but haven't spoken on the record in over a decade. Is this the end of the story? What happened today? I don't think Emmett Till's story is going to let go of us anytime soon. Tim Tyson last spoke to Carolyn Dottom in 2008, but the story he told in his book, The Blood of Emmett Till, shined new light on the 14-year-old's brutal murder in Mississippi in 1955 and Donham's role leading up to Till's lynching. Today, nearly 70 years after Donham's accusation that the black teenager whistled at her, triggering the boy's lynching, a Mississippi grand jury declined to indict Donham, now 88 years old. So she pretty much got this little boy lynched for a whistle, okay? <laughs> and she still roams free, man. They're not they're not gonna pin no murder charges on this on this Edomite devil, okay? So 
Let's give some more precepts, man. There's a plethora uh, of precepts that can be brought out. You know, I just wanted to bring up the crimes uh, of Esau, Edom, and what he did to Jacob, his brother. Okay, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of today. Okay, let's go to the book of Zechariah 11, uh, 11 and five. Salak. It says, "Whose oppressors slay them, and hold themselves not guilty." So they're not they're not gonna pin the murder charges on uh, you know Esau, Edom. It was hard. It was hard to even pin the two Edomite devils who actually did the crime. Okay. It says, and they that sell them say, Blessed be Yahweh Shimei Awashai, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. Okay? These devils got rich off the backs of the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, even to this day, man. Okay? And they, they, they really think the Lord is with them, when ultimately the Lord is about to cut their nation off forever as it is written in the book of Obadiah 1 and 18 okay so and you and you have you know sell out two-third wicked jakes that fall right in line with the devil okay so I, I would play this other clip you know just pretty much going into how it was segregation and everything uh, Lord will I'll add it you know add this clip on the back end but let me get a precept before I have to go into the plantation you know, as the book of Baruch say, Baruch 3 and 8, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, you know, to be subject to payments, you know. So, uh, let me go ahead and get Obadiah 1 and 18 real quick. And it reads, And the house of Jacob shall be a flame, okay, and the house of Joseph... Uh, so like it and the house of Jacob shall be a fire okay and the house of Joseph a flame the house of Jacob is going into the southern kingdom and the house of Joseph is going into the northern kingdom and the house of Esau for stubble so the so-called white man okay for stubble and that's that's the bottom of the fire it keeps the fire going it says and they shall kindle in them and devour them and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau for Yahweh Shem Yahweh has spoken it. So it's prophesied that they're going to be cut off. Their lineage, man, woman, and child is going to be cut off. And the Lord has spoken. And you know his words going to come to pass. So Lord will, this is edifying to the elect of the nation of Yahshua Allah. Shalom.